In this video, I've added 43 different suits to Marvel Spider-Man PC, and I'm going to be showcasing all of them. I mean, look at this insane amount of suits, man. It is crazy. We're going to be going through each and every single one of these. These are done by a specific modder named Bogu. He is retired, so I wanted to do a showcase of every single mod that has been released. So you can see every single one of these magnificent creations and you can also go check them out for yourself so if you like this type of content you know what to do support the channel leaving a like commenting which suit is your favorite by the end of the video and stick around through the entire thing i'm sure you will enjoy it okay look at how beautiful this is now the first thing that completely stands out to me personally with this one obviously the logo i love the logo look at the eyes they're big but look at the textures man the textures are nice and also you see all of these like suit wrinkles as well. There's some wrinkles going on. It is crazy. The details are absolutely astonishing with these suits and Bogo has never ever failed to put in crazy details. I mean, come on. I'm always such a fan of these suits and I'm gonna miss Bogo. I'm gonna really miss Bogo's mods, but like they always say, every good thing always comes to an end. So appreciate everything while it's here. Enjoy the ride, okay? And I'm just really grateful for every single one of these mods. So thank you, Bogu, for all of these. Now, there has been like three different versions of each symbiote suit. So now we've got the blue symbiote suit. So as you see, everything else is identical. It's just the colors different. So you could choose whatever color you want. That kind of suits your tastes, right? And then, you know, you've got the violet one as well, which is kind of like the ultimate Spider-Man, right? So it is great. You know, you've got the web shooters here. Everything's the same. You know how it is. Then we move on to the next one and see the eyes are different here and the concept is pretty much the same. It's just, you know, different colors, right? And then, you know, you've got another version here as well with these other eyes. So it's kind of just, you know, you can choose whatever you want for the colors and the eyes, of course. So there's that. Now we're on to the Scarlet Spider classic suit, right? So this is more of a classic look for the Scarlet Spider. It is Bogu's take on what Scarlet Spider should look like. And I actually really, really enjoy this one because the eyes are, you know, they're much better here, right? I much prefer the way this Scarlet Spider looks over the Insomniac one. I mean, look at this. He's even got like these little straps here, man. Scarlet Spider is ready. Look at all of these like web cartridges and things. <laughs> He's just ready, man. God damn. Man, I love Ben Riley. What they've done with Chasm, I mean, the design's cool, but come on, man. Let my boy be happy, dude, please. All right, now we've got this, dude. This suit is crazy. This is the classic 2099 suit by Bogu. And I've got to say, this is probably my favorite, my top, like, five or top five, like, just 2099 suit mods of all time. Probably number one. I mean, look at this. First of all, go into the details. You see all the little techie spots. I love that emblem too. I mean, god damn, it goes hard. And then, hold on, I'm gonna turn off the filter so you can see the colors more accurately. Look at that, right? Like the eyes are great. You can still see the tech everywhere. Look at how sharp these friggin' uh, spiky bits are, man. It's just, it's just such a good suit, man. Bogo has done an incredible job with this, for real, man. I mean, the details are just nuts with this one. I mean, and the reason why I'm not spending 10 hours on each suit is because we've got 43 suits to go through, man. I'm going to be here for 10 hours, okay? We're going to the amazing, you know, amazing classic suit. This is goddamn amazing Spider-Man. This is our boy. And, I mean, come on. So, first of all, we're kind of got the comic book sort of look, right? Comic book feel. You know, the lengths are nice. Um, I mean, come on, that is beautiful. You got that classic emblem. I mean, how could you not love that? And you've still got this crazy muscle definition of all the suits. That's never lacking. Then, you know, the colors are really damn nice too. Um, I do wish it was a bit more red though, but that's the only th thing, right? I mean, it's based on the, I'm pretty sure this is from the Edge of Time, not Edge of Time, the other one, Shattered Dimensions, yes, based on that. And of course, you know, you got that perfect emblem in the back. I'm not always a fan of this one, but here I actually really enjoy it, right? So, great suit, man. And then I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the symbiote. Yep, there's the symbiote version of this. I love that emblem, always will. That is a damn nice classic one. Muscle definition goes crazy on this one as well. And then, of course, the lighting. I mean, look at the way the lighting bounces off of each, like, muscle detail, man. You can tell that there's been a lot of time put into this suit. 
and also the eyes look wonderful well the lens everything just comes together with this one and just looks incredible so you know <laughs> i just want to show off every single suit that bogo has done i mean why the hell do you think we're here with this video right now so now we've got the bagley 90 suit so we're going to be going through some of the classic suits here um, I actually love these. So this is Bogu's interpretation. So Bogu has taken these classic suits that you've seen often in the comics or promotional materials done by different artists, you know, different versions of Spider-Man, you know, stuff like that. And he has pretty much brought them in into Marvel Spider-Man PC with his own style of making it look like, you know, what it would look like in this game if Insomniac has done it. So look at the texture details here. That goes crazy. Again, muscle definition is still there. That is very important to make sure that the suit feels like it's actually on Spider-Man, right? You've got that emblem. It is a very nice emblem. I gotta say so myself. That is a nice looking emblem. I love how the webbing sort of, you know, stops. It doesn't go through the emblem or anything like that. I actually really enjoy that detail. Um, that is a really underappreciated thing, I feel like. Now, the lens are freaking huge, man. And I actually really like that too. And if you've noticed, the webbing isn't actually really black. It's kind of blue. And I really appreciate that. And also, the lens don't reflect. But I, that's, that's a part of the comic book charm, right? Like I said, look at these details here in the blue. I really enjoy that. It's very amazing Spider-Man feeling, but... It's a good thing. And let's go to the back spider. Yep, you've got that classic thick back spider there. It is damn nice, man. I really, really love the Bagley 90 suit. And now we've got the Chichetto. I think I, if, if I pronounced that wrong, I do apologize. We've got the Chichetto classic suit. Emblem's nice. And once again, you see the sort of um, webbing kind of no, go through the spider. I really love that emblem though. That is a damn nice emblem. And these eyes are really damn cool too. But now you can immediately tell the material is sort of different here. And the colors are a bit different as well. I mean, I really love this material. These blues are really damn nice. And of course, you know, everything just looks really damn cool with this suit. And we go to the back. We've got that classic emblem, of course. Maybe I should put some lighting on the back here since we were not going to really get to turn him around that much. There we go. We'll do it like that so you can kind of see it there. And yeah, it's a damn, like, I I'm, I gotta say, man, oh damn, he's thick though. <laughs> but I gotta say, man, these blues are really damn nice. I think these this is my favorite type of blue for a Spider-Man suit. But I gotta say, I really enjoy this one. Now we've got the Delotto classic suit. And man, let me tell you, I love that red that we've got going on. The eyes are really interesting for this one. Like, they're really, like, squinty in a way like the lenses are very like he looks like he's like trying to see far away or he's like angry or frowning but it is interesting i think this is just the way it looks all the time and it's a really damn menacing look for spider-man i gotta be honest i wouldn't want to catch myself in like an alleyway with this spider-man at night like i don't know is he gonna try beat me up or something <laughs> but it's looking cool man that emblem is really nice too I really like how it like sticks out, like it's not just drawn on, right? It sticks out. It's a really cool emblem. Again, the details in the suit are really nice. The muscle definition is insane. I don't think it's the same, right? Like each suit has like a sort of different type of muscle definition. You can see the wrinkles and crinkles in the suit as well here and there. Um, you go to the back here, of course. The emblem is different too. It stands out. You've got some lines going down here in the back. It's just a damn cool suit overall thickness check it's there <laughs> it's just a sick suit man i always love these sort of bogu takes on the classic suits and yeah and then of course you got the delato symbiote suit as well now this one's a really cool emblem too and i i actually this might be one of my favorites too man it goes pretty hard and then the the symbiote really looks menacing with this one like the eyes are still very like like they're a bit more like bigger i guess but they're still got that really menacing look and, dude, the muscle definition here with the lighting goes insane. And then, you know, in the back, you can see everything looking good. He thick. Goddamn, everything goes hard, man. Whoa. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Now, the Edge of Time suit has got to be one of my favorite suits of all time. And 
Bogu's take on this suit on you know redoing it and bringing it into Marvel Spider-Man style is insane because first of all that emblem I gotta say is nuts it goes hard the eyes are incredible they're a bit reflective right but the fact that the webbing is here I mean dude how recognizable is this if I just put it to the side you're like damn bro there's that cover <laughs> right and the webbing the messy webbing is nuts i have really grown to insanely like the messy webbing actually and this one's kind of like it, it feels kind of raised like a little bit i guess or it might just be the way that it's been textured because it looks crazy right you've got the details here that look crazy in the blue everything just looks wonderful again muscle definitions nuts you go to the back that classic th thick you know, tick look and emblem is there, of course. Looks great. I do wonder what it would look like if you took this spider, slapped it on the back, and put it upside down. How cool would that look? But then again, that's just my personal take on what I would like to see out of one of these suits. But man, it is nuts. I mean, even on the arms here or hands, you've got that sort of messy look. It, it's just great. It's just classic goodness, man. I love it. And of course, you've got Edge of Time, black suit version of it as well for everyone that likes symbiotes. And I gotta say, this is a really cool take, man. It is awesome to see the Edge of Time suit having a, like, symbiote variant, right? Because I think this was in the game, actually, as an altered costume. I'm not too sure, though. But you can see that the type of black that's used here is kind of like the Spider-Man 3 one. The emblem's white, right? Every, like, the webbing's great, still messy. Back emblem's white as well. But I gotta say, I do love the choice of the symbiote color i've got to say that's probably peak personally i love the way he looks it's just great man it's just like a black variant i don't even know like this might not even just be like a symbiote version it might just be like a black cloth variant or something or the symbiote's just like stuck onto the suit for the first time but it looks damn insane man i gotta say i love it and then of course man i mean how could you not have this dude the damaged variant and this goes insane i mean look at him he is just like ouch bro that is painful looking like i've never really looked at this this close man but damn i mean look at this to to have your lenses cracked like he would have had to like either been smacked by green goblin or fell off like he probably just his webbing failed and he just fell all the way down like 20 stories or something crazy but you could see like all the charred damage on the suit you could see all the scratches all the like tears it is nuts, man. The amount of detail gone into this suit is actually next level. And I'm really proud of Bogu for this one. So, you know, you've got this, like, detail here on the knees where you probably, like, scrape them. It is nuts, man. Like, the details are crazy. And then it even extends on the back here. Dude, I would hate to be Peter after this, man. Like, imagine having a disinfect. Oh, damn, that is brutal right here. Ouch, man. I would hate having to disinfect this. I mean, Mary Jane was a real one for staying with him and, like, treating him after this, man. Because, damn, imagine trying to explain this to Aunt May too. Like, oh, Aunt May, I tripped. <laughs> Spider-Man Excuses 101. <laughs> flipside suit, man. So this flipside suit actually comes with the 2099 suit in the pack. I've got to say, Bogo has done an incredible job as well with flipside. I don't really know much about this sort of specific character, but I've got to say, I love the way Flipside looks here, right? Like that emblem's dope. I love the webbing here, the red eyes. It's actually really very techy as well, obviously. It looks great, genuinely looks awesome. And I love the back here as well. Obviously no logo in the back, but the suit, man, I gotta say, it looks crazy. And then look at all those like sharp pointy bits there on the fingertips, that is damn. I'd hate to like, go scratch myself or something or like go to like itch my face i don't know man this this goes hard i mean let me know what like just let me know in the comments about who flipside even is because i don't really know much about flipside personally now we've got a few um iron spider suits right bogus versions of them so this is um the black and um yellow version i'm pretty sure this is used by one of the members if i'm not mistaken from the dark avengers or evil versions of the avengers i might be wrong though um but it is a cool looking suit and then you know you got black and white as well so you can kind of choose what you like i really dig the black and white one this one's really cool too right like awesome looking and then of course you know you got the classic version of this one as well 
Bogu. I love it, man. I love this take on this Iron Spider suit. I think it's cool. Colors are great. Everything just looks great. Now we've got a realistic version of Into the Spider-Verse suit. So we're back to the classic suits. And I gotta say, this is really cool seeing Into the Spider-Verse as a more, you know, realistic version, right? Like, it's pretty cool to see that. Um, I love that emblem. Of course, you know, the classic Into the Spider-Verse. Again, the webbing doesn't go over it. You know how it is. I mean, you've seen the Into the Spider-Verse suit, but seeing it in live, sort of, not live action, but a realistic take instead of the cartoony uh, animated version is really cool to see. I gotta say, man, it looks great. Boko's done an amazing job with this one. Muscle definition still goes crazy. It just looks great, dude. I love it also, like, the little dots in there. I guess that's just to help him see better, right? It looks awesome. Now, the Johnson classic suit is an interesting one because this one's really vibrant like really vibrant right um i think this one was used in the promotional materials if i'm not mistaken a lot of the like the scott johnson suit yeah so if you remember like all the lunch boxes and posters and all the promotional materials like blankets and things it's crazy scott johnson's an amazing artist hopefully i didn't get this wrong if i did man grill me but look at that emblem's great colors are really vibrant i mean these are like the brightest blues you can put on spider-man and some of the brightest reds and it just works man and then you know that's the classic back emblem there like probably one of the more recognizable ones the suit is just perfect man in every sense of the word it is it is great and of course those lenses are damn nice so it is cool to see this suit in action <sighs> i love it now this is the other more recognizable suit and you can tell that the blues are now much darker and the reds are there's so much spider webbing on here my god imagine drawing this constantly how did you do it, McFarlane? God damn. But I love this suit, man. Like, this is from that cover where it's just sitting there with all the webbing. It looks crazy. These eyes are just a damn classic. I mean, wow. Back emblem goes crazy. But damn, the amount of webbing here is nuts. But this body type is crazy. I mean, he is jack, dude. I mean, look at those thighs, man. Look at the... Like, the amount of muscle here, dude, I would be terrified. And then, of course, I mean, look at that emblem, too. That is a classic right there, man. Great damn suit. Awesome take by Bogu. Amazing work, as always. And, of course, you've got the symbiote variant, of course. I mean, how could you not? The eyes are damn beautiful. The logo is insane, actually. It's very far up now that I look at it, but it just works. And then, I mean, look at this. Damn, he looks oiled up, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Man, I'm being sus with this video for real, but look at that. Like the details, I mean, I'm just saying it. it, it the details are crazy. I mean, look at that six pack. Everything is just nuts on in terms of like just muscle, pure muscle definition. It goes crazy. And then you got the Mighty Raccoon Black Concept suit. Uh, so this is like pretty much, it's called not another Raimi suit, right? But this is Mighty Raccoon's concept suit. So this is the symbiote version. So this is for, for one of the animations. Um, the like the eyes lenses are one of my favorite things about this suit as well as the emblem and I love like the whole symbiote colors chosen by Bogu here they're perfect like the details are insane on this one I mean look at all these like little shapes there behind the spider and then even the etching on the spider itself with some of the scratches I mean the details are just there man like it's crazy the amount of details that you've got and you know the messy raised webbing is just 10 out of 10 and of course you got the red and blue version of the suit it's just i think this is probably my favorite suit that bogo has done i've got to be honest it just looks great it ticks all of my spider-man boxes right like the lenses are just sick and i i think like the inside of the lenses actually works with this suit right since it's already got all these crazy details you might as well go the extra mile to have those little bits in there the emblem is just so cool like it's the perfect blend of like modern and classic i feel like and i love the little details in the blue here um i don't know i'm just an insane fan of this suit and let me know if this is your favorite suit as well in the comments um it just goes hard right and now this i've never really gotten to cover but i'm glad i get to cover it here so this is the concept spider-man noir suit so this is the black version of it or rather gray 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 why don't i say gray gray suit right i'm not cutting that out that stays <laughs> but it is cool man so it's very like basic right like you could see all the stitching and things in there but it is 
I mean, not basic in the sense of the actual suit that Bogo has done, but I mean just in the actual suit itself. But Bogo has just made it so detailed. You got those lenses looking cool. I mean, I really actually dig that bit there because you don't have the little emblem on the chest. You've got it here. So that's a cool look. And then, you know, you've got the little emblem on the back, which is awesome. You know, the classic back spider. I mean, the suit is awesome. I'm surprised that this one, this specific iteration, didn't make it. I mean, we've got the trench coat one, which is fine. But it is a really cool look. And then, of course, you've got the actual concept noir suit, which is very drowned out colors. And I think it really works because of the setting that it's from. I mean, the 40s Spider-Man with, like, guns and, you know... I think he's not as powerful as the regular Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. But, I mean, he's cool. Like, this is really damn awesome to see. I mean, you know, got all these, like, little details here that go crazy. Little boots here, right? With, like, I think this would be, like, a jeans type of material or something. I don't know. But it goes hard, man. I'm actually a huge fan of this. And I think Bogo has done an awesome job translating this. And the lenses are actually really cool the more I look at them. So, you know, instead of having like actual webs going everywhere, he's got these stitching in the style of webs. Like, I think that's a really cool detail. Now we've got the Ramita Senior Classic suit, right? So that emblem, I mean, I'm sure you recognize it, looks great. But this red itself, now I gotta say, is perfect. Imagine this red with like that really light blue. But this is a really good mix of red and blues. I love these emblems. Well, not emblems, still not talking about these lenses here and the webbing is really nice. Like it is just like a really, really dark black, which works really well with this. Perhaps to stand out. The emblem on the back is actually interesting. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but I think it works really well, especially with the type of blue. And if you look at the blue material there, that is like, it's a kind of cross stitching, which is interesting. Yeah, no, this suit is great. I really like it, actually. Like, I'm running out of words to describe these suits because there's just so many to go through, but it is an awesome classic suit. And then you got the Alex Ross classic suit. Let me tell you, man. Alex Ross, one of my favorite comic book artists of all time. Like, those are just incredible. Like, seeing all of his DC art and Marvel art, it's just phenomenal to look at. That emblem is just pure classic. I mean, come on. It is just nice. I love the colors in this suit Bogu has brought in. We've got these lengths. I think they're just so nice. Look here, I'm sorry for fanboying, but I, I just love the look of these lenses. They're just great. That emblem's great. The suit itself, the webbing. I mean, come on, man. The back spider. I really, dude, I'm such a fan of this. And you can tell that there's a lot of inspiration from this when he was going for the uh, designs for the Raimi suit, right? Like the first concept suit. And that's kind of, I think, what they were inspired by for the Spider-Man 1 suit on the back. And I gotta say, it's probably my favorite back spider in terms of, like, the classic comic. I think it should always be in style with that. Even though the original was the big tick sort of look. But I think that works genuinely super well, right? And now we've got the sensational black suit, which is, you know, the Ben Riley sort of black suit alternative version. So it's just his normal suit, but symbiote style, rather. And I think it looks cool, man. You don't really see Ben Riley with like any symbiote besides like Spider Carnage or whatever he is now, Chasm. I don't know the whole like shenanigans behind that, but I think that's cool, man. And I always loved like Ben Riley's web shooters, like these just big gauntlet things. I always am such a fan of that, and I think it's great. And of course, you know, you've got the sensational suit here. And I gotta say, I am a huge fan of how the blues here, so you see like how the blues are there, and they connect with the actual suit itself. I just love that. I always love things like this, and I do love how he doesn't have too much of like boots here, like it's just kind of like a red patch on the side, which works really well. And then, you know, he's got like three fingers of his, or like two fingers and his thumb are red and then the rest is blue. I think that's cool. I think he's got a really damn cool suit. And of course the lens is a huge, it's always a win. So Ben Riley's suit just looks incredible, man. I love Ben Riley, dude. <laughs> and then, you know, you got the black version as well, like with the black logo, right? Instead of the blue. So, you know, you've got whatever you like. So you got the black logo, you got the blue logo, and then you've got like a sort of black version of the suit itself. So, you know, the suit is a 10 out of 10 for me. So Bogu again, amazing work. And now, you know, you got the superior negative suit. So, you know, like 
you know what the negative suit is, right? So this is Superior Spider-Man's very first suit. You've got his eyes, like the lens is poking out. I do like his emblem though. That is a cool looking emblem that Bogu has done for him. And you know, you've got his like fingertips being very sharp. And you know, I, well, I don't know how I feel about that though. That, that kind of just makes my toes feel gross. <laughs> Probably does for you guys as well. But the back emblem, I'm not really the biggest fan of because that's just a circle with some spikes. But Superior Spider-Man is a W. I love his character. I mean, look at this, dude. So black and red, always awesome. I don't know how I feel about the lens, but the suit is, itself just looks great. And I think it is a very interesting design. And Bogo has done an amazing job bringing it into the Marvel Spider-Man style. And now, of course, we've got the Web of Shadows classic suit. So this is straight up just Bogu, not bringing the actual, like not ripping the suit, but upscaling it and making his own version and bringing it because the lenses on the actual game one didn't stand out or like pop out, but Bogu has done that. And you can see the details here. It's very like, not really saturated of a suit. It's more like, you know, very like, kind of drowned out, I guess, if that makes sense. I like the blues there. The reds could be more like, you know, they could have more color to them, but that's okay. You know, it's a lot of shadows and I really enjoy those suits and I love it, man. And then of course we've got to have a symbiote version of it, which, you know, I mean, come on. It is a classic and a lot of you guys are a fan of Love of Shadows, just like myself. So you probably enjoy this suit. I mean, look at that. The only thing I'd ever change about the Love of Shadows suits is the lens because I'm not the biggest fan of these tiny lens, right? Like he looks menacing, of course. But, you know, I'm not really the biggest fan of that. But that's my only gripe with the suit. Everything else is great. I mean, the emblem here is huge. Muscle definition is, like, dope. And again, I gotta say, this is an amazing job by Bogu for bringing it into the style of Marvel Spider-Man, right? And then, you know, you've got Ultimate Symbiote suit. So this is the Ultimate Spider-Man. I think from the Shadow Dimensions uh, style so I like I, I like the outline I love how here like you look at his jaw it's like purple shaped so the outline's like all purple it looks wonderful um obviously the spider emblem's great right like you know no complaints here it's just how it's meant to be muscle definition is actually really insane on this suit like damn and you know look at the back it's the same but I'm really excited to see the actual classic suit and there it is man it is beautiful the lenses are wonderful um, this is definitely from the Shadow Dimensions version though. I do like that emblem and the colors are really really cool with this one I really enjoy the blues and how you can see like the different You know hues, right? It is great depending on what angle you look at it and of course the reds are perfect too Not ever gonna complain about this and I love the back emblem too. It is just perfect man The ultimate suits probably one of my favorite spider-man suits as well and damn that's really the final suit, huh? Well, there we go. That was all 43 suits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Best way to support me is by watching more of my videos. So check out the one that's on the screen here. Thank you, Bogu, for everything. I've seriously enjoyed all of the suits. Thank you so much for all the time, all the effort, and all of the wonderful suits you've released to the community. Seriously appreciate it. And thank you for being a good friend, too. Um, everybody, leave some love for Bogu. Go download these suits, use them. Let me know which one was your favorite. Take care of yourselves. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Peace.